Hi there. I'm Carmela Castano Garcia, President and CEO of the California Primary Care Association. I've been representing community clinics and health centers in the state of California now for 23 years. And prior to that, I was a managing attorney at the Law Office of Public Advocates in San Francisco, where I was a civil rights attorney and the founder and the executive director of the Latino Coalition for Healthy California. I've been working in healthcare policy and advocacy for uh, almost three decades now, and have been a CEO for a quite amount of that tenure. Uh, and what I want to share with you in terms of uh, the CEO question, what is one of the most influential things you've learned about the process of becoming a CEO? Uh, and one thing I would say that um, I've learned that's been so important to me uh, in this process is really um, seizing the opportunity. And, and that there can be opportunities before you um, where there's really opportunities to grow, stretch, and learn. And I was just happened to be in that position in my career uh, where I did have the opportunity to step up and play a leadership role probably before I was ready uh, or knew what being a leader was. Um, but just being able to take advantage of those opportunities is a, a really important lesson I've learned. Another important influential piece in the process that I learned as well is the importance of resources and the importance of being able to um, bring in resources and fundraise and, and to be able to grow your organization and really um, grow as a, as a CEO. Uh, having resources around you so that you're not doing everything yourself and can really be able to uh, grow an organization that has a, a range of strengths I think is really critical and that is one thing I learned and why I encourage people to think about being a CEO um, because having command of the resources really um, allows you to uh, build your organization in the way that it's going to be most effective. So I think that's a really important piece. And another question is about role models. And one thing I want to say about role models, that one thing I learned, I went through my college experience and um, kind of feeling like I didn't have a role model and that I was having to do it on my own and didn't have anyone to go to. But really after I went through that whole process up through law school, what I realized is that my role model had been right in front of me all along and it was my mother. Uh, and my mother, who was an executive secretary in her career at San Jose City College, I learned a tremendous amount from my mother about um, just watching her work ethic, her dedication, her professionalism, and so much that I learned, uh, but I actually didn't even realize until I was already in my career that she was the most important role model that I had. Um, so I just encourage you ladies out there, um, just remember we have our moms and our aunts and our sisters and our cousins, and we're, we're actually surrounded by role models, and, and sometimes we forget that. That's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, encourage you all in your leadership journey. Thank you.